All right, workout number four, the 30 day kettlebell program. You're gonna be needing the double kettlebell cleans. You're gonna need double kettlebell jerks. And you are going to be needing a wall for some handstand pushups. If for any reason you don't have a wall, you can just do hand release pushups on the ground, no big deal. But for right now, let's talk about these movements. Double kettlebell clean, gonna be the same concept as your regular kettlebell. So keeping your chest up tall, sticking that butt back, make sure you don't have a big knee bend, getting that powerful pop so you can bring those kettlebells into the front rack. Your front rack also is gonna be very, very important. We talked about that on the thruster in an, in an earlier workout. So right now you're gonna have those kettlebells, those thumbs are gonna be right on your chest. That's very, very crucial. Um, and then when you're here, keeping those elbows out to hold that kettlebell. So that's gonna be the top of my double kettlebell clean. So here's what we're looking at. You're gonna need two kettlebells for this. You're gonna have that regular swing going. Instead of now, we're gonna rack it in this rack here. So the wrong way to do this would be to do this. Right, we don't wanna do this. We wanna go into that nice comfy rack. And that's our double kettlebell clean. The next movement that's gonna be paired up with this is gonna be our handstand push up. There's two ways to do this, an advanced way and then a more scaled way. So the advanced is gonna be strict. You'll be up, down and up. And then the scaled way is gonna be down, put your butt on the wall and help yourself up. With that kipping motion. So depending on where you're at on that, you can choose one of those, one of those skill levels right there. The last movement is gonna be the double kettlebell jerk you guys are gonna need for this workout. That front rack, absolutely crucial for this one again. Except now, we're gonna be doing a dip, punch, and just a repeat of that motion. Make sure you use your legs as much as possible. If you're sitting there doing a strict motion, it's allowed, it's gonna be way harder. I'm not gonna get your heart rate up as much, and it's not really what we're looking for today on this movement. So, you can be up, here, dip, jump. So as you can see during that movement, front rack is crucial, getting that leg drive is crucial, and then at the top, you wanna have that split second of control so that you're stabilizing the joint and you're building that muscle mass. If you kinda come up and you're not really holding it for a second, you're not really getting what you want out of the movement, and it's just, you're not really getting anywhere, it's, you're just kinda spinning your wheels. So, you wanna look better, you wanna get a better workout, just pause it for one split second on the top, and it'll be much better for you. Those are the three movements that we need for workout number four. Enjoy.